Up first tonight, police are still trying to piece together what happened during a fatal accident in Port Arthur that left a 10-year-old boy dead. Port Arthur police say the young boy was coming from Central Mall when he tried to cross a highway with a group of friends. The other boys made it across safely, but Tyvon Wilson was hit by a Volvo SUV. A judge pronounced the boy dead at the scene. Fox 4's Leslie Rangel reports the boy was a student at Booker T. Washington Elementary in Port Arthur. She has more on what friends remember about his young life. What a way to spend a sunny spring Sunday. Four, five. Outdoors, enjoying the sun with a short game of hide and seek. It was fun to play with. Larry Doyle remembers playtime with his friend, Tyvon Wilson. He was in the fourth grade and I was in the third grade. It's never easy to say goodbye to a friend you love, especially when you're in the third grade. What kind of games did y'all play, Larry? Hide and go seek and tag and freeze tag. Tyvon Wilson's friends try to cope. They've dedicated this playtime to Tyvon. And I will miss him with all my heart. Rest in peace, Tyvon. I miss you. He was like a brother to me, too. It was like we was like going to stick together, grow up together. It's hard for anyone, even these youngsters, to understand. The 10-year-old boy took his last breath trying to cross Interstate 69 late Saturday night. Why are you crying right now? Because I miss him. I miss you, Tyvon. I hope you I hope you have a blessed day. Yeah, but it's hard. I love you, Tavon. A friend now gone. One, two. Remembered for his speed in hide and go seek. Three, four. This game in memory of him. And I hope he is in heaven right now. Look what the clouds say. We check it out and see no words. What do you think he's doing in heaven right now? Playing. Playing and seeing God. But in childlike faith, we look again and see the clouds Tyvon is playing on up in heaven. Port Arthur, Leslie Rangel, Fox 4 News.